So let's say you've made a landing page with Google Sites for free and you now want to add a button so people can opt into your email list. You can do this all inside of Google Sites and I'm going to show you how you can do it for free. So we've got a landing page here that's promoting a product on Clickbank. Now what we need to do is we need to first add a button so people can opt in. So go to the right hand corner of Google Sites, go and click on button and you can then give this button a name. So I'm going to call it something like sign or opt in and you can put whatever text you want here uh, but then you need to also add a link now this link is going to be the link to the opt-in form which we're going to create with an another google product called google forms so if you go to google and you just type in here google forms and then you go to the first one here which should be google forms you can then go ahead and create a new google forms which you, we can use as kind of like an opt-in page so we'll go blank here and you can capture all of your emails inside of Google Forms. So here I'm going to change this to opt-in. And again, you can change this to whatever you want. We'll give it a description. And I'm promoting here on my site the smoothie diet on ClickBank. So I'll just put here smoothie diet for weight loss. So now I've done that, we've got an email field already. Now you may not have that when you first go to Google Forms. What I would re recommend you do is go to settings, go to defaults, and then go to form defaults. And if you click on that, if collect email addresses by default is turned off, just turn it on. And then also make sure that question defaults is also turned on as well. Then you can go back to questions and then you'll have this email box, which is asking someone for their email. You can also add an untitled question here. Go and delete that. And we'll call this one full name. And we can change the multiple choice answer to a short answer and we can make this a required field. So just make sure this slide is checked. And then you've got kind of like your opt-in page. Now with Google's, Google Forms, you can also add videos from YouTube, you can add other sections, you can add images, you can add text and description. And this is all done for free inside of Google's products, which I actually thought was, was actually really handy. But for the video, we'll keep it basic and we'll create a simple opt-in form. Now we'll preview this just to make sure everything looks good. So you can see it asks for that email and full name and you can obviously write your own text here. So now we've got that, we now need to collect the responses when someone enters in their email because right now we're not collecting the responses. So to do that, go to responses and you can see there are zero responses right now. Make sure this is checked so you can actually accept responses. Then click here where it says link to sheets and you can then create a new spreadsheet. So I'll call this just like, I don't know, YT for YouTube, and then I'll click create. Now this page is going to be linked to this spreadsheet here. Now on this spreadsheet, you've got the timestamp when people entered their email, you've got their email, and you've also got their full name. So let's try it out. So now before we try it out, we need to go ahead and grab the link to this form here. Now to do that, you need to click on send in the top right hand corner, you then go to this link icon and you can then copy this link. Now go back to Google Sites and remember we were inserting a button. Just go ahead and paste in this link to the button, click insert. And now you've got an opt-in button which you can add to your landing page. You may wanna scatter these around the landing page depending on how big it is. Now we'll publish this and we'll preview it. And here we can see we've got a landing page and if we click on opt-in here, it will redirect us to the opt-in form. So we'll enter in these fields, we'll click on submit. And now we're opted in, we should be able to see, you can see here it has the time, it has the email address and it has the full name. And once you've got a list of all of these, you can just export these by going to file, download. You can export these as a CSV file and you can upload this to an email autoresponder and send out emails automatically to this list.